One of the problems with research writing is that some elements occur throughout the document. And if they're changed in one place, you have to go through the whole document and change them everywhere. Not only is this time consuming, but you also risk leaving out some of the changes. An easy way to solve this problem is to use cross referencing. So here we have three research questions that we want to repeat in the table below. Instead of typing them out, we are going to automate that with cross referencing. So we go to the Insert tab. We go to Links, we open Links, and we select Cross Reference. And under Cross Reference, we have a look at Numbered Item. So we select Numbered Item, and we select only Paragraph Text, and there we find the first one, and we go Insert, and there it is. Then we go down to the second place and we select the second question and we go insert and we do the same for the third question. Now you'll see these three questions have been repeated here. So now the supervisor says to you, no, no. What was the nature of the participation is a very difficult question. You can't do that. You need to change that. It has to be who participated and how often. And now all you have to do is go select all, control A, and you press function 9, which is refresh, and there it's done it. Now you have to write objectives for each question. So I've quickly added some objectives here. Who participated and how often was to obtain a list of participants and to determine the level of participation of each participant. Uh, what kinds of messages were sent was to determine the relationship between the senders and types of messages, etc. In the method section below, I'm going to want to put down the question and the objective in the same sentence. So because my objectives are not a numbered list, I can't do this trick this time. Instead, I use bookmarks. I highlight the piece that I want to make a bookmark, the piece of text that will be repeating. Notice I do not highlight the two because that has a capital letter and it's going to be part of a sentence besides which the two will repeat anyway. And so now I go to links, I go to bookmark, I name my bookmark OB, OBJ for objective one, and I add. And I do the same for the second bookmark. Bookmark, I call that O, B, J, 2 for objective 2, and I add that, and so I continue. The first thing I want to do is to make the first question a heading. I go there, and I go back to my links. I find a cross reference. It's a numbered item. It's this one. I select paragraph text and I insert, and there it is. So because my objectives are not a numbered list, I can't do this trick this time. Instead, I use bookmarks. So now I use bookmarks. I go to link, I go cross reference, and I look over here for bookmarks and I select bookmark text and then I take objective one, I say insert, there it is, I put in and and the space and I go back, cross reference, objective two, insert, 
and full stop. And now my supervisor says, no, no, you didn't want to determine the level of participation. You want to determine the contribution of each participant. So we change that. And then we go down back here. We select that and we press F9 again and it's fixed it up for us. The last thing we need to do is to reference the table itself. So we stand on the table, we go to References, we go to Captions, we go Insert Caption, it's already said Table, and it's Table 1, we write And we say OK, and there we have table one, questions and objectives. And now we don't say the following table, we simply put in table one. So we go references, we open there, we look for table, and we say no, we don't want the entire caption, we only want label and number. And we go insert, it says table one shows the objectives for each question. And now this will update, this will update, and this will update automatically when you highlight the whole lot and press F9.